Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, June 21st, in 1860, the U.S. coastal steamship, the Robert J. Walker, sank in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of New Jersey. One of the U.S. government's first iron hull steamers, the ship was named for Natchezian Robert J. Walker, who served as Mississippi's U.S. Senator, Secretary of Treasurer, and Governor of the Kansas Territory. Originally, the ship was intended for the United States Revenue Cutter Service, but that agency decided that steamers were too expensive to maintain, and in 1848, the sidewheeler entered the service of the U.S. Coast Survey, a predecessor of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Throughout the 1840s and 1850s, the Robert J. Walker charted the waters of the United States Gulf Coast. On the morning of June 21st, 1860, the Walker had completed her most recent hydrographic survey work and was bound from Norfolk, Virginia for New York City when she collided with a commercial schooner. She sank in less than 30 minutes with a loss of 20 men. It was the greatest disaster ever to occur in an agency of the modern-day National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Due in part to the looming Civil War, no official inquiry into the cause of the disaster ever took place, and no ceremony honoring the lost crewmen was held. In the 1970s, a commercial fisherman found the wreck of the Robert J. Walker, and on this day, June 21, 2013, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration held a wreath-tossing ceremony on the 153rd anniversary of her sinking. I'm Chuck Caldwell with the CPA firm Silas Simmons LLP, and I'm past president of the Historic Natchez Foundation. This has been your Natchez History Minute.